what's going on? My name is Hugo from Tantric, and you're watching MPJ. Yes. Um, and then where did you guys record that? Uh, we recorded it in uh, the studio that we did our last record at, and it's, uh, it's a studio in the Poconos called The Sound Mind. It's a really incredible studio because it's just surrounded by wilderness, and you know it's 12 miles away from anything that you can go to. So it's it's a really good place to focus, and you wake up and you smell the beautiful mountain air. You know, it's great. It's, I love it. But uh, yeah, it's definitely our studio of choice. Very cool. And you guys, when you wrote it this time, you guys were in different areas when you first started writing the album? When we started putting the demos together, uh, considering the band is spread out through the country, basically the songs that I didn't write alone, I had, the songs that we wrote as you know some some band members just wrote their own songs and sent them in i wrote lyrics and melodies over them some of them just wrote riffs and i would put them together in my studio and I'd mix them and match them and it's kind of like a puzzle you know put all these pieces together but it ultimately came together really quick and and it wasn't a forced thing and that's really why we were able to like deliver another record so soon because our last record came out last year so you know we're just keeping the dream alive how long was the echo process? It probably took me about four months to write, uh, to put everything that everybody had written and put it together in a, in a demo format. But a lot of the ideas we already had, so we were already using cataloged ideas, you know. So, but the actual putting together was about four months. And then we went into the studio, we were in there for about a month, two weeks, which we spent just basically polishing out the songs, see which ones were actually translating well and which ones weren't. Very cool. And then once you guys got together too, then some of it changed. Some of it changed and we wrote stuff when we were together. You know, there's certain stuff that you have to be in a room with your band members and you get inspiration and feed off of each other. You know, not everything can be very, you know, kind of predetermined and pre-organized like that. You know, sometimes you have to get something out of inspiration of the moment and that happens but you can't really plan on it you kind of just gotta prepare as much as you can and then hope that some magic happens and, and it's it I, i'm really really proud of this record yeah it's really good thank, yeah. you. thank um, you yeah your first single is mind control it's on radio mind control yeah and then um you have the new video that's going to be premiering when the album Yes, it's premiering Tuesday, and it's going to be on MTV2, and like Fuse, and, and a whole bunch of things, but people can go onto like MySpace, Backslash, Tantric, and basically that gives you, like, it pretty much tells you where you can find everything, and our Facebook is interactive. We're a, tech, we're a band that actually runs our own pages. Uh, I like to, you know, make it like interactive with people. And, I, you know, we're not like super, like, we don't really take ourselves that seriously in that in that case. I think the least that we can do is actually talk to our fans, you know, considering they buy our records and, and put a roof over our head and stuff like that. So we're really appreciative of that. Now, does that get chaotic around the road, though? Um, yeah, it gets chaotic, but I think that it only gets as chaotic as you want it to be, you know. You have to ultimately put yourself situations that aren't dangerous you know but if you're you know walking into a crowd of 10,000 people and they're your fans you're putting yourself in a dangerous position you know yeah. but I think if you're careful and like, you can still have that interaction and be close with your with, with your fans and and, uh, and still you know have a good time and nobody gets hurt you know, that's the most important thing yeah, It's a really incredible video. It's it's kind of like an abstract type of video. Uh, this director, Mason Dixon, did it, and it's basically kind of a, a story of uh, you know it's it's metaphorical, you know, but it's a story of, of me being hooked up to all these machines and obviously getting controlled by these scientists that actually represent corporate America. Not that I'm like this like super hippie that's like anti anti corporation, but. You know, I just wanted to make something that was visually cool and match the music and entertaining to watch, even if you didn't like the song, you know? Right. Very cool. Well, definitely going to be looking for that. Um, you know, you guys are currently touring this 
kicked it off yesterday? Was yesterday, it? yeah. Well, actually, we kicked it off in Alaska. Oh, wow. But uh, in the lower 48, we just kicked off yesterday. And, you know, so far, we're two shows in. We, we got the great opportunity of playing today. And, you know, I love what I do. I'm a really, really blessed person, and I'm very grateful for it. Very cool. And how long does this go for some? We're probably going to do maybe around 200 dates. So that's that's probably going to span about a year. So we'll probably be on tour for a year. And are you going overseas with it then too? Or? Yeah, we definitely plan on expanding. I think we're planning on doing a South American tour. And, you know, basically whatever comes up, I just hop on the tour bus and then I ask my tour manager what city I'm in when I get there. Right. And then I just, you know, then I ask him to direct me to the microphone and I do what I do and then I go out and hang out and meet people and eat good food and check out, you know, the views. It's great. Is there anything else I would just want to say that, you know, please pick up the record August 4th on a, in a store. And if you want to learn more about Tantric, you can go on to Hugo Tantric 7. That's my Facebook. Uh, or our MySpace, just find us somewhere and we'll definitely talk back. You can give us any questions and we're really grateful for your you know, investment in our band. God bless you.